In today's video, we're going to be discussing the fine details of the Halo Infinite campaign gameplay premiere trailer, and we're also going to be taking a look over at Halo Waypoint for the news surrounding Halo Infinite. So stick around. Now, the following information can be found over at HaloWaypoint.com, and I will put the link in the description. I'm also going to be breaking down the trailer here, but first, taking a look over at Halo Waypoint, they do have a new post over here by 343 Industries, so we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what it has to say. Enter the Banished. The campaign demo takes place several hours into the story of Halo Infinite, joining the Master Chief and the pilot as their pelican comes under fire from enemy anti-air encampments. While the discovery of the Master Chiefs floating in space initially brought hope, the situation has gone from bad to worse as they find themselves being pursued by the Banished. We're introduced to a new brute war chief, Eshram, and I'm probably mispronounced that, who has led the Banished to victory over the UNSC forces and taking control of a halo ring. While Chief is no stranger to battling against Brutes, this is the first time he is facing the Banished and his most formidable opponent yet. Our narrative team is crafting a story that will be entertaining and exciting for all players, so don't worry if you're new to the Halo universe or have no idea who the Banished are. From the beginning, our vision for Halo Infinite's spiritual reboot was to create a story and experience that's inviting to new players and welcomes them to fall in love with Halo the same way many of us did years ago without any prior knowledge required. And that is a very big deal, ladies and gentlemen, because if you have played Halo 5, Halo 5 essentially started in the middle of a story, and if you did not read many novels, if you didn't watch some web series, and keep a very close eye on all their other multimedia things that they had with Halo, it was almost impossible to know who certain people were and what was going on. So it's nice to see that they've crafted a story in the game that doesn't require any prior knowledge and is inviting to new people. It says, meanwhile, longtime fans will also pick up on the continuation of the events of Halo 5 Guardians and be rewarded with new mysteries to unravel. The carefully crafted narrative will be a great way for new players and fans alike to experience the Master Chief story. Now this is big, of course, a ring to explore. This essentially means that the Halo Infinite ring is going to be somewhat open world. Now this is, of course, a big deal. There was one semi-open world game in the form of Halo ODST, and while the areas were very limited in scope that you could go to and explore, it looks like powered by the Series X and, of course, the PC and Xbox brand of consoles, you're going to be able to control and explore a vast amount of areas. Looks like they have a huge environment built, and I am super excited to jump in and explore a Halo ring. The information continues on. Halo has always been defined by its sandbox, the collection of weapons, vehicles, and characters that fuel emergent gameplay and freeform encounters throughout the campaign. In Halo Infinite, the team is building on the legacy of this iconic sandbox while evolving and infusing it with new offerings. The campaign demo showcases two pieces of new equipment that the Master Chief will be able to deploy on the battlefield, a portable shield and a grappling hook. So the previous videos that were made on my channel here with the grappling hook seem to finally be confirmed. The drop wall is a fast deploying cover that can be used to fend off enemy fire or even deflect a grenade as they saw in the demo. The grapple shot opens up new traversal options while also providing new ways to engage enemies, get up close and personal by grappling into an enemy for a satisfying melee, pull a fusion coil to yourself and throw it at your target, or grapple a ledge to rain fire down on the enemies below. This new equipment, along with various new weapons, opens up more freedom and flexibility for players to showcase their own playstyles. And yes, these new additions to the sandbox will also carry over to multiplayer. However, they'll function a bit differently as equipment items that can be picked up on the map. We look forward to talking more about multiplayer details soon. So hopefully, in the not too far future, we will get our first look and more details involving the multiplayer and maybe a PC and console flight. That would be fantastic. Halo Infinite 
has been built on an entirely new engine, the Slipspace engine, which was designed from the ground up to serve as a foundation for the future of the franchise. The technical enhancements of the Slipspace engine are too extensive to truly get into here, but one call out is how we are able to pack in 10 times the processing per pixel, creating the most visually rich game they've ever made to go on the most open and expansive environment to appear in a Halo game. And that's just to start though as the Xbox Velocity architecture brings near instant loading, smart delivery will pull the optimal vision for your device and will be running the campaign at 60, FP 60 FPS with up to 4K resolution. We are also designing Halo Infinite to grow and evolve over time so we can continue to deliver experiences to our players beyond launch. This is most the technically involved Halo, an advanced Halo game ever created and paired with the most powerful console on the planet, allowing us to create the most vivid and immersive way to experience our universe. So this is very interesting here, something that they say that they are designing Halo Infinite to grow and evolve over time so they can continue to deliver experiences to the players beyond launch. That kind of sounds like to me personally that it is going to be a games as service, but maybe not as a traditional games as service. We won't know until we get more information. Personally, though, um, just because I'm paranoid, I would like to be able to play this game's campaign offline. And I'm assuming that you can. Otherwise, I feel like they would have mentioned that by now, possibly. But I'm wondering if maybe we will get campaign DLC, paid DLC, further down the road. They're most certainly going to have modes and the multiplayer. And more than likely, what this is kind of hinting towards is something that we see in Halo the Master Chief Collection with the season that is currently running through. Now for the Master Chief Collection the seasons are based on each individual title. So the first season that came out of course was for Halo Reach and then of course the next season that comes out recently over the last couple of weeks has been more Halo CE. So I'm wondering if they're going to be incorporating different themes for seasons and unlocks Moving on, it talks about building a PC community. It says, late last year, we launched Halo the Master Chief Collection on PC, and at the time, we hoped that the Halo community would join us on our journey to this new platform. You have blown us away with your support, and I'm very excited that Halo Infinite will be available on Windows 10, games for PC, and the Game Pass for PC beta, and then Steam, addition to the Xbox Series X and Xbox One family of devices. A dedicated team at 343 is focused on ensuring Halo Infinite offers the best-in-class experience optimized for the PC platform, and they'll be sharing more specifications as they get closer to launch. So keep an eye out here on the channel for more specs and special PC features announced, and of course, more. Now moving on, the article talks about the flight plan. When they first revealed Halo Infinite back in 2018, they spoke of the ambitions to kick off early flighting program to bring the community along with the development journey. The Halo Insider program and public flights have been instrumental in titles with the MCCPC, providing critical feedback to help shape the best possible experience. While not the full program they had envisioned, they've been working very closely with the community on nearly every facet of the project. From the earliest planning to where they focused on broad feedback at the art style, to the actual hands-on play testing and focused feedback with confidential groups of the community representatives over the past two years. Halo Infinite is being created in partnership with the community. The team is still working and assessing options for a broader hands-on opportunities before launch and will share an update whenever they can. But this process doesn't stop with the launch. In fact, many ways feedback and community flighting will be even more important after launch as they partner together to continually evolve and update the game in the future. All right, well, that right there kind of sounds like we may actually not be getting the flight that they had promised. Seems like they've been worried probably about what people would think, and they wanted to keep this closer to their chest with the focus group. Hopefully, hopefully they are getting the appropriate feedback. And moving on, the article closes out with much more to explore. Thank you for coming with us on this Halo Infinite journey. We hope that everyone's enjoyed the campaign demo. We'll be back soon with more news, including the first details on multiplayer. We're in the home stretch now, and the team is working hard to pull all the pieces together and polish the game while still navigating unprecedented challenges in our personal and professional lives. Of course, they're talking about working from home. There's a lot of work to be done, but they're so proud of how the team has accomplished and tremendous progress being made every day. 
So myself personally, I am very satisfied with what we got to see here today in regards of Halo Infinite. To be honest, I was very worried, scared, and excited all at the same time. They have, of course, some returning mechanics from Halo 5, some new ones that they've set up here for Halo Infinite, and I'm very interested to see whenever they have their multiplayer reveal. But how do you guys feel? Don't forget, in order to be part of the conversation and have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. I upload content weekly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description as I have my social media and, of course, support for the channel is there as well if that's something that you're into. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for joining me here today for this first look at Halo Infinite, and I'll see all of you in the next one.